What's up, guys? It's Football Junkies 365 coming at you with a with a with an exclusive video. Now, if you guys follow my channel closely, I don't really talk. I don't. I never talk about college football, but we have to talk about college football right now. And not only do I love the pro game, I also love the college game. And we just got, we just got the final four teams to go to the college football playoff. This was just announced less than 20 minutes ago. If you guys been watching on ESPN, um, they just announced it. They just announced the six teams. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. But if you guys watch college football, I'm pretty sure y'all had your eyes glued to the TV all day yesterday like I was. I watched every conference championship to the Pac-12, down to the SEC, to the ACC, to the Big Ten championship. I watched all of them. And, you know, it was exciting drama it was it was a revelation of what teams really are so let's get straight into it man let's just get straight into it so the number one seed in the college football playoff right now is them clemson tigers who handled miami yesterday and it wasn't even close let me tell you something let me let me let me let me give you a, a, um, a confession i didn't watch nothing but all but like 10 minutes of the game. I, I, after, after like the 15 minutes, I, I switched it up to the Big Ten Championship because if you guys know, the Big Ten and the ACC Championship was playing the same slot. I didn't watch that, that, that the, AC, the ACC Championship game. I expected Clemson to get, I expected Clemson to get, um, um, Clemson to route Miami. I mean, I saw Miami lost to Pitt the week after, I mean the week before, and I was like, Clemson's defense is just too good. Clemson's defense is way too good. So I expected that. But I thought Miami would, would um, you know, put up a fight. Number two, the number two team in the country is them Sooners of Oklahoma. Oklahoma Sooners are the number two team in the country. Now I watched their bowl game yesterday against TCU. It was a good game up to halftime, but then in the second half, Oklahoma proved why that they're a team to be reckoned with. I think me personally, and this is just my opinion, I think that Oklahoma is the best team in the country right now. Hands down. All due respect to Dabo Sweeney and, and, and Clemson and their defense, but let me tell you something. Oklahoma is the best team in the country right now, according to me. And I think they have the best player in the country in Baker Mayfield. That's no doubt. You know, that offense is electrifying. I would love to see that offense go against a team that I'm going to bring up next. And the next team, number three, is setting up the SEC champions of 2017 is them Georgia Bulldogs, man. Georgia Bulldogs put on a show yesterday in Atlanta beating them, them Big Mighty Auburn in the SEC championship. Now, Georgia, was, Georgia lost to Auburn in Auburn like three weeks ago. And Georgia put on a show yesterday. And it's, uh, for, uh, for, for you guys that don't know, Nick Chubb sir, um, became the second all-time leading rusher in SEC history. And you look at them names, you look at them names in them SEC quarter, uh, running backs. Um, <laughs> but, her, but I'm, you know, Nick Chubb is one of my favorite um, collegiate players. He's, he's, he's a senior. He came, he came back to, to the college game so he could face off against Georgia Tech. But, you know... When they played Georgia Tech, it wasn't much of a face-off. You know, Georgia was so good as that they blew the rails off of Georgia Tech. But anyway, um, so Georgia is number three. Georgia with a convincing win yesterday. Let me tell you something. That Georgia team, they kind of did what Auburn did weeks ago. They ran the hell out of the football. They, they, they exploited Auburn's great front seven. Which is, I think, was, I, Auburn's one of the best defenses in the country. Auburn is just so such an impressive team on that defense. And the defense is just, you know, that Auburn defense is no joke. They're going to have at least 9 to 10 NFL players on that defense right now. But um, Georgia just kind of re rebounds back. It was kind of a home game for them yesterday because of the site, but... Georgia proved why they're one of the best teams in the country, and I'm really proud of Kirby Smart. Um, Kirby Smart is a guy that deserves a lot of accolade. You know, I was so proud of Kirby Smart yesterday. You know, he really deserves it. You know, he's really turned that program into a real juggernaut. Them Georgia Bulldogs at three, and for the final team, 
the final seed in the playoff. As you know, the final seed in the playoff is them Chris, them Crispin Tide of Alabama. Yep, Alabama, them Crispin Tide, Nick Saban's bunch. They're going back to the playoff as the four seed. Now, this is the most controversial thing that everybody could talk about. The fourth and final seed of the college football playoff. Now, if you watched the Big Ten Championship yesterday, who was the fourth seed? It was Mr. It was the Washington, so not Washington, Wisconsin Badgers, right? And they played against the Ohio State. And Ohio State beat them, um, I think was it was uh, 27 to 21, I think. Yeah, 27 to 21. JT Barrett had a, um, he had a, he had an okay game. He threw a couple um, interceptions. But it was clear last night if you watched that game, if you're a really, if you're a really civil college football fan, it was clear that Ohio State was the better team. No doubt about it. Ohio State was the better team. Ohio State was the most, it was the most superior, superior team. My knock on Wisconsin was that they play in the Big Ten West. Who's in the Big Ten West? And then not only did they play in the Big Ten West, you know, I mean, let me tell you something. I have nothing against the Wisconsin Badgers, but for the fact they played, you know, in the division they're playing, it's kind of a, it's kind of a um, this, um, disadvantage for them, in my opinion. But going back to Ohio State, Ohio State handled their business last night. But unfortunately, it was not enough for the committee to put him in the fourth spot. And I can understand why. And all the football fans in, in, in the country um, that watch college football, you have to understand too. I'm not going to really get into it because I don't want anybody to come after me. But I think what sealed Ohio State's faith this season was the loss at Iowa. That was it. Because you could lose at home to Oklahoma. Because you have the Heisman Trophy um, winner, Baker Mayfield, coming to your house, and he has a cocky attitude, and that Oklahoma bunch, you know, you could lose to them. But I don't, you can't lose to Iowa on the road the way y'all did. Y'all lost to Iowa by 30 points, man, 30 plus points, man, and I don't think you could do that. I think that's what sealed their faith last night, the loss to Iowa. And if you really <laughs> look at it, in the post-game interview, um, Urban Meyer had to confront Nick Saban because Nick Saban and I brought up the Iowa thing. And, you know, yeah, yeah. But 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 here's the final thing I'm gonna say about the um, Ohio State thing. First of all, J.K. Dobbins, that that true freshman running back, is hell. He carried that team last night. He had two. He had multiple long runs to put him in the end zone last night. If you really look at it, Wisconsin did not score. They did not sustain one drive going down the field and um, against Ohio State. They had a pick six and then um, JT Barrett's interception that set them up um, in, in Ohio State territory. But other than that, Wisconsin did not set up. They did not have one full in and out drive against um, Ohio State in that whole game. And if you really look at the bodies, Wisconsin has a good defense, but Ohio State as a whole has a better roster and better team. Now going back to Ohio State, it's the last thing I want to say. Ohio State. You lost to Iowa by 30 plus points. And but look at this, look at this. Penn State went to um, Iowa too, and they beat him by a field goal. So if Penn State could beat them, beat, uh, beat Iowa by a late field goal and you lose by 30, what does that tell the committee? And not only that, I'm going to bring up one more argument. You went, remember the week one opener against Indiana? You struggled, you struggled to put Indiana away. And who saved the day? That true freshman on running back that, that was the um, game's MVP last night. You know? So... y'all to hate me i'm just this is just my opinion and i i just think that ohio state is a good team i don't think they're playoff worthy now you can say alabama has a weak schedule okay but you know alabama is kind of like the patriots of, of college football you know the, the patriots 
you know, they do not, they never have the best roster, but they always get it done. So you expect Nick Saban's um, bunch to get it done. Now, I know the one o'clock game is about to start for football, so I'm just gonna watch these games. I'm gonna close up for you. So anyway, recapping, recapping this video, the four teams that's getting into the uh, playoff is number one, Clemson, number two, Oklahoma, number three, Georgia, and number four, Alabama. Two SEC, one ACC, or one Big 12. No Big 10 and no Pac-12 teams going in. So, now if you wanna um, do the games, however, so here's the games. Number one, Clemson versus number four, Alabama, and number two, Oklahoma versus number three, Georgia. Those are the games in the playoffs. The playoff games gonna be held at the Rose Bowl and the, uh, the Sugar Bowl. So we're gonna learn later on um, who's playing where. I'm gonna have an update video um, down here for you guys. So those are the teams that got into the college football playoff as of 2018. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, you can give me a like. Also, comment on what y'all guys think about the committee's decision. And share with your friends if you really like this video. And subscribe for, to this channel for more content. I've never talked about college football, but trust me, I'm also a college football fan. I don't have a favorite team, but I watch college football. So anyway, this is Football Junkies 365 signing out. Enjoy the Sunday games today, and I will come. I will see you guys later. Oh, and P.S. I just found out the locations of the playoff games and the teams that's going to play in each of the bowl games. Clemson and Alabama is going to play at the Sugar Bowl, the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. That means that Georgia and Oklahoma is going to go out west to Pasadena and play in the Rose Bowl. Now, I knew the committee was not going to let Alabama go out west to California to play a playoff game. I I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> but, you know, that's just the committee. So, Georgia and Oklahoma is going to play in Pasadena in the Rose Bowl. And Clemson and Alabama is going to play in the, Ro um, in, in the Sh Sugar Bowl down in um, Superdome. So, that is your locations. Now I'm out.